Hey guys, and I feel so silly with this thing on my head. Um, it's the warmest it's been in New York in a long time. Um, but we'll probably be out late. So I'm gonna keep my head warm because that's the first thing to always get cold. Um, anyways, me and Fawn are headed to get some crawfish in New York City. Let's go and see what that's gonna be. this in an area of town and she don't even know where we at West 14th but we're going to hot and juicy crawfish and I just looked at their website they have other locations in different cities so if it's good I'll have to go check out other spots and juicy crawfish. today is Thursday they have happy hour but I'm not drinking okay let's go inside let's check it out You guys just missed out on lunch for us. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like LA, crawfish is overpriced. $15 a pound. But I guess I have to take into consideration where I am. But I can get crawfish in Houston for $6 a pound. Just so y'all. Okay. It looks like they have some type of experiences. Found a crawfish shrimp, sausage, corn and potatoes, temptations, different type of crabs. That sounds yummy. They have different spice levels. That's good because I don't like spicy food. Fried basket, appetizers, and calamari, po' boys, yummies, and drinks. I'm kind of excited now. Okay, y'all, so we ordered. We're gonna split, because Fawn was over here trying to be a fatty and order 10,000 pounds of stuff, Everything. thinking she's gonna eat it by herself yep. and then leave the fridge all packed up like she always yeah, does. Anyways, for some silly reason, I decided to wear a white shirt, so I need a bib, or <laughs> I might just have to take this off because I'm gonna get to popping and sucking crawfish heads and that's not gonna be cute on my white sweater. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited about this meal. So I took a chance and ordered the etouffee. Looks good. Smells extremely spicy though. And calamari. Calamari good. How is it? Mm -hmm. It's good? Yeah, it's really light. It's almost like Tuscan Hills. Okay. Let's try the calamari. Oh, it's good. Pleasantly surprised. He used a tad bit of lemon. But it's good. Okay. Now let's try the etouffee. It's really spicy, y'all. I can smell it. But, um, etouffee is usually spicy, so I shouldn't be surprised. I have to come back to this. It's too hot to eat. Okay, the food has arrived. So it's like. You want to dump it out or you want to leave it in the bag? That would probably be easier than that. It's probably on drip. No. Ooh, my hands dirty that quick. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You try it first. Eat the crawfish. It's hot. It's supposed to be hot. How it tastes. Need some salt. Salt.
crawfish and um, crab legs. That girl found one and more. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. Look at, all, look, at that, look at that sauce. Yes. Everything tastes delicious. The seasonings are great. The spice levels are good. The only thing that we could possibly complain about is the quantity. Their scale is wrong. It's broken. This is not a pound and a half a pound of crab legs like it says on the menu, but whatever. We're eating it. It's good. We're happy. I'm going to go check out another location, wherever the other locations are, and see if they get better quantities. And then see if the seasonings and the flavors are consistent around everywhere. And then maybe get somebody to open one of these in Houston because we have a lot of crawfish places, but hot and juicy crawfish is not in Houston. Not that I know of. So, yay! So, my stomach is very, very pleased with this place. I mean, it was about a 25 minute train ride to get here, but y'all know it's worth it for when I find something good in New York. Okay, we ate. Now we're going on a mini adventure to Sephora. I've been to Sephora like three times in the past four days. So I don't need to buy anything at all. I'm not gonna buy anything, y'all. I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm not gonna buy anything when I go into Sephora. <laughs> I think we just jaywalked. What are the rules to jaywalking? Is it when you walk when you don't have the sign or is it when you walk like vertically, diagonally? Di <laughs> Who knows? Tell me. We've made it to Sephora. I haven't been to this Sephora yet. So let's see how excited it's gonna get me. Thank you, Fawn. You're welcome, Alexia. So the other day I told y'all Fawn doesn't really wear makeup. She came to Sephora with us the other day and fell in love with milk makeup. So now she thinks she's some tired but beauty queen. I'm about to start my own YouTube channel, y'all. Don't tell them that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Colors, <laughs> cause we're in the rainbow neighborhood. Sorry. We're in the neighborhood that obviously these colored people don't live over here. Cause I have never in my life been to a Sephora and seen that many. No lie. <laughs> so we're in Chelsea Meatpacking District. I didn't know where we were. And I'm just gonna assume it's not that many black people that live over here. You are terrible. I'm, look, I'm just being real. I love them all. But they literally have every color from mixed girl to straight up black. Literally. So if y'all are looking for the Fenty Foundation, in whatever shade, the, the 440, the 450, the 460, they have it all. So y'all what else I did. So the body lava came out, right? Look how pretty it is. And I was online and out of temptation, I ordered the other color that they have. And then I said, you know what? I don't, I didn't really need the body lava because it's $60 for just some, some skin sparkly stuff. And so I called and I canceled my order. But they didn't cancel it soon enough because it shipped. So I'll be getting it tomorrow. So I think that means I should just keep it. What do y'all think? <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. Because I just, I'm, I'm really getting a lot nicer and calm tongued in my, my more mature age. But if you see something you like walking by, don't grunt at me. Don't uh and lick your lips at me because that's the fastest way to get cursed out. If you see something you like, just say, oh my gosh, you're pretty, or whatever. But grunting at me and licking your lips at me like I'm a piece of meat, it's not gonna work. <sighs> she got a whole basket. <laughs> What's in there? Things that you don't need. <sighs> this man just grunted at me walking across the street. He grunted? Mm hmm. Why? I guess he wanted a piece of me. Well, you probably smell like. And we're right on time, y'all. Fawn was just talking about how she wanted to learn how to do a wing liner. Because she's basically makeup challenge. Nah. No, she's not. Just joking. And they're doing a wing liner class here, like, in two minutes. So, 
we get to participate and learn. I'm not that great at it either, so I'm going to do the class too and see what I can come up with. Beauty class, wings, eyeliner. So the trick with that, as you saw with Anastasia, you want to get it as close as possible into the lash line. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Start in the middle. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay. Together. All right. See that I can do. That's what I normally do. As we normally do, just be done after that. Right. <laughs> now we need eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. So we tight line the. But we didn't do brown. Uh, well, I don't need to do my brows. But we tight line with a regular like pencil, like as close to the lash line as possible. Right, and then what? Now we do eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow is going to create more of a smudge, smoky liner. Okay. okay. So. Oh, so okay. you get For the smudgy one, eyeshadow. You're going to grab like that like a dark color smoky eyes. color black the point of this is to do what again you're sketching out where you're gonna apply your gel and you want to stamp it right here okay. in the crease is that the crease you were yeah. talking about right there yeah but should you close oh. your eyes no do it. Bring, it okay. bring it up bring it up no you don't want to close your eyes because how are you going to see what you're doing you gotta turn my whole remember i'm telling her to tilt her head back you gotta tilt your head back or you're not going to be able to see it oh like this yes and then we stamp and stamp and bring it in Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Right. <laughs> right. She's like, wait, wait. Right here? Right here? I, I can't see what I'm like. No, that's what I'm saying. You gotta go. Um, I honestly don't think I'll ever be a wingliner girl. Okay. So all this, uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I don't have the patience for this. This is the issue. Right now. I don't have the patience. No, I'm telling you, don't beat yourself up and it. Like, this is really good. You just need to keep practicing. And as far as your stomach your stomach is actually good. It's because your eye don't do that. They don't match. They don't match. My eye don't match either, girl. So, it's the same thing with your brows. Your brows are definitely not. Twins, they're sisters. You, like you want them to look, look that's what identical. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's and results. Eye. Yeah, okay. So, 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 here. so we so. have the yeah. so liquid liner on yeah. this yeah. eye. Yes. I think Perfect. I like the way Good. that one looks. Now bring it in. And then bring this is the gel. Mm -hmm. I didn't clean up the gel as much. So. I'm done with the other one too, but you know how to do okay. it. No, I You're don't. Good. No, no, I yeah. really don't. Once you're in the class, leave so it alone. Because I thought I wasn't going to buy anything, but I think I'm going to buy this little brush. You just need to fill it. Fill it. Just fill it. Oh, you don't okay. Want I think you need this brush. I think it'll fit perfectly in this little bag. So now this can be my new brush bag. Yeah. All right, guys. We had more than enough fun in Sephora. It's, um, <laughs> what time is it? It's 8.50. I need to get back to the apartment, pack up. I start a four-day trip tomorrow. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little fun video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye.